Good afternoon, YouTube. My spoken word here, back with another video. Um, I was meant to upload one yesterday. Um, spoilers, but I didn't. <laughs> I I managed to finish it, but I didn't manage. To, unfor I didn't unfortunately didn't manage to perform it for you because I just didn't find the time. Unfortunately, I was entertaining a couple of guests, and by the time he, by the time like they'd left, fucking. I had no time to get this up at all, but yeah, fucking, my day's been all good, it's been actually a really chill one, just been to my mum's, had a nice little spag ball, fucking potent, it was nice, bring that meme back, but yeah, fuck, fuck what I've just said there, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just in a good mood, I'm just in a good mood, I hope your days have all been going well as well, Um, but yeah, the poem I have for you here today, um, once again, came to me in my sleep. Uh, fucking, I don't know what it is with my sleep recently. It's just been banging out belters, belter of ideas. So, fucking, we'll, we'll hop straight into an eye. Fucking, this is called My Garden. Um, yeah. Here we go. You ready? Let's do this. <clears throat> I have a special place. That only allows entrance to me, its admirer and refugee. You see, I can't always enter the garden. Conditions need to be fulfilled. First, I can only make the garden appear when I'm asleep. Second, I have to empty my mind of all thoughts until only darkness remains. Third and foremost, I have to detach myself from my physical body. You may be confused by the third one. And it confused me for a while too until I actually learned about what it was what I was doing really and what I mean by it is I astral project myself weirdly enough to the garden leaving behind any thoughts, fears, problems that I may be facing and I also leave behind my physical body as well I basically go there in spirit form my body is asleep my spirit is in the garden getting rest being looked after by this garden basically <laughs> Now all three conditions are met, the garden the garden's gate the garden gates swing open slowly, inviting me inside with its warmth. The first thing that always strikes me is the lush green fields which seem to keep going forever. Second the flowers, so many colours, so many lengths, width, height, and in unseen amounts of variance, I can't describe them all. It was fucking mad. And it, it, it is, it's always mad whenever I visit. That is all my that is all my trips used to consist of, but recently a new addition has been added to my garden. I never thought, I never thought like fucking, it's dead weird because it wasn't there for the first few times, and then all of a sudden, one time ago, this is here. The fields and flowers all stay the same, but now amongst them in the middle of the field, a hill. The top of this hill is a swing. Sounds random, like I've just said, I know. But now whenever I visit, I always sit on the swing. It's like an edge almost that I have to literally sit down on it. I can't just go in my garden and lie on the grass anymore or on the fields or just keep dancing around without flowers. I literally have all the time whenever I go to this garden now, I have to sit on the swing. I'll always start swinging ever so slightly, first to the tip of my toes and second to the fall of my heel. So then that way it's just literally backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Not fucking high up in the sky and then trying to jump off and do a 360 backflip. Like you did when you were a kid. The swing never stays the same. It's forever changing. It's weird because sometimes it'll be like, say for example, a swing that you'll get a fucking playground. Sometimes it's a kid's swing. Sometimes it's one of them like long benches that you out, out, have outside on a port, on a, um, a patio. And you just like sit there swinging. It's the one and only thing in my garden that I'm fascinated with. Like I said, I used to be fascinated with everything that was in there. But now because this... Because everything stays the same and this swing is the only thing that is forever changing, it fascinates me. I always know that my time in the garden is limited. Limited to the amount of sleep. Limited to the amount of sleep my physical body needs. I always know when it's time to leave because I'll have no control over what happens next. First, to disappear is the swing. Second, the hill. And thirdly, the fields around me. The fields which went on indefinitely now rush towards me. Finally, the gate to the garden forces me towards it and closes gently behind me. So it's like forcing me out, but closes gently as in like, don't worry, you can come again. 
almost inviting, you know what I mean? It's pretty nice. Now it's all about time and how quick I can return to my body. As I am no longer in the garden, I am no longer protected by it, and soon the dark will come. And that's it. I feel like I should have added a bit more onto the end of it, because it did leave it on type of a cliffhanger. Obviously, you know, fucking, I'm here, my, my spirit got back to my body, otherwise, fucking, I'd be in a fucking coma like state. I'd be alive, but I wouldn't be me. I'd just be a fucking hollow, empty shell. If you fucking, um, oh, what is it? Um, uh, Insidious first one, it's basically that. That's what I have learned to do. Spirit walk, astral projection. Scary shit, like the first few times I did it. I didn't realise I was doing it. And I will admit, like, fucking, I never woke up the first couple of times. Well, I did, obviously, but, like, I didn't wake straight up after leaving the garden. I fucking wondered, wondered for ages. I was like, oh, no, what's happening? Like, I should be awake, but I'm not. But I felt awake. But it also felt like I was dreaming, and it was just all these things mixed into one. And it was just a fucking massive ball of confusion. But... In the end, here I am. I've not mastered, I'd say. It does take me... It takes effort to get into the garden. And it, it's a lot of effort to fucking make it back to my body. But I make it work somehow. Don't know how, but I do. And it's pretty sweet. Pretty darn nice. But yeah, that was it for today. Fucking... I don't know when the next one will be up. So just stay tuned, really. I'm not going to give you, like, an update because I don't even know what's going on myself half the time because there's just fucking some weeks where I've got nothing and then other months where I've got fucking massive ideas for stuff. But, yeah, there's uh, fucking a few things going on. So <clears throat> it'll probably be a couple, couple of days, maybe a week or two, before you actually see another poem. But uh, I'll... There might be a gaming video. Might. Might be. Do not hold me to it, okay? Anyway. This has been your boy. My spoken word. A -A A.K.A. Cal McCall. The Big Bad Crow. Uh, fucking yeah. Have a good day. Peace.